Right, we've got, we're flagging, right? It's got to the end. I don't know where the coffee is. There's an espresso cup that never got filled. Um, I've got knee gout at 20A. I want everyone to know you can get knee gout before 30. It's awful. Uh, I really wanted to thank Attitude. Big Boys has been like such a lovely show. To get the response from it has been gorgeous. Um, and I sort of started out in Camden. I was like a little like ratty teen going around Camden Market with my dad who was a black cab driver and getting like sold drugs by guys and being like, Dad, that guy just offered me an ounce of spunk. And him being like, I think you mean skunk. Um, and that's how I came out. Um, and yeah, it's been really lovely to write stories about him and to write stories about loss, which I think is an issue intrinsic to the LGBT community's experience and history. And I really want to dedicate this award to a friend of mine who, if he was still here, would be my plus one tonight, who I know is a firm, soul member of Sink the Pink. It's a guy called Gordon Maxwell, AKA Gordy, who was an incredible TV producer. He was the first person I ever met in telly. I met him in Revenge in Brighton when I was 19. And he was like, darling, you Jack Rook off the television. He called me that all the time before I'd even done anything. Um, and his story is quite sad. It, it's, I suppose so many queer stories are quite tragic and involve loss. But I, I dedicated episode two of Big Boys to him, called the Gay Club Gordies, to celebrate him, to celebrate including everyone, from your gay leads to your straight best mates. We need him more than ever. And uh, yeah, this is for Gordy. And it looks like a G, which is lovely. Cheers, thank you.